urban theorist Richard Florida wrote in 2008 that the most successful cities and regions in the United States and around the world may increasingly be inhabited by a core of wealthy and highly mobile workers leading highly privileged lives centered or catered to by an underclass of service workers living farther and farther away. So in this talk, what I want to do is argue that global society and space is moving towards a state of planetary gentrification that's leading to institutionalized apartheid, creating new spaces of exclusion, justified as progress and development, and even as helping the poor. So the result of this planetary gentrification, which I'll talk a bit more about in a minute, is, I would argue, social apartheid. The de facto segregation on the basis of class or economic status, in which an underclass is forced to exist separated from the rest of the population. Typically a component of social apartheid, urban apartheid, refers to the spatial segregation of minorities to remote areas, usually the peripheries of cities, this is happening in cities all over the world, but in the global north, gentrification also produces forms of apartheid that are not necessarily about spatial physical separation, but rather I would argue a form of mental phenomenological separation while sharing the same neighborhood, particularly in, for example, new socially engineered, uh, socially mixed communities. 